Hello guys, uh, my name is Hadi. Welcome to today's uh, C++ programming lang language lecture. Today is the second day or the second lecture. So let's go through that. In previous lecture, we have talked about the uh, C++ ID and also programming programmer, these things. Today, I'm going to write the first program in C++ and also I'm just going to talk about the syntax of C++. So let's just uh, write one program here in uh, slide number two. I have written one program, which is uh, the sample program, only for showing, displaying, welcome to programming tutorial, only this thing. So guys, I'm just going to open the div C++ that we have installed in previous lecture. So control N, we are going to make a new file here i'm going to write the syntax then i'll explain it hash include i stream using name and space std and int main so guys this is our syntax for c++ uh, first we are going to uh, write hash include Actually, iStream is a header file. This is a header file, iStream. And uh, uh, this is a header file. For example, we are going to display, uh, so we are going to use cout or console output. cout is the abbreviation of console output. When we are going to display something, we are going to use cout. So that is actually the code behind that is inside this header file, which is iStream. For example, if I, I'm going to use uh, any other built-in functions, just like uh, SQRT, which will mm, find the square root of a number, that has that is actually uh, inside the math.h. That header file is for mathematic equations and uh, functions. So hash include is a preprocessor. Uh, this tells the compiler that include this header file which is iostream now we are going to use iostream header file and here in second line we are going to using namespace std actually uh, the c++ when you install this uh, c out and l these things they are located in the std namespace so we have to use this if you do not use this it will tell you that we do not know where, where the cout is cout is inside the std namespace and int main main is our the name of our function whatever code we are going to write inside main function that this will be uh, compiled and this uh, will be loaded so here before main we have a return type this is int integer integer means uh, numbers whole number just like uh, one two three four five six seven eight these things so we are going to use this because we are going to return a number which is, that is return zero which will close our program so uh, cout is used to uh, cons uh, to display a string this or numbers these things here inside the double question i'm going to write welcome to programming tutorial so this will be displayed uh, here i didn't mention this this is the insertion operator this shows the flow of data here our data is welcome to programming tutorial and this is going to be uh, flowed to console output that black uh, uh, after running i will tell you what is the console output so here i just wrote the program for compiling i have mentioned in the slides for compiling f9 and for running f10 so let's just press f9 oh sorry F9 is going to compile it, but first it should be saved in our disk. I'm going to 
save it as welcome uh, the extension of your program is .cpp mm, if you do not write it the dvc++ will automatically write the .cpp so here I'm just going to enter it now this is compiled this code is written inside the editor after compiling actually first debugger is going to debug it for find the uh, errors and then uh, compiler will compile it linker will link this uh, see out this our program into iStream header file and loader we didn't run it we have to run it then loader will start its work so this is run uh, key this is uh, compile so you can press f10 or only can click this one so now i want to run this this uh, this is our console output or cmd here welcome to programming tutorial this was our string that our text that we wanted to be displayed this was displayed correctly yeah this is our syntax whatever program we are going to write and see you have to use this hashing kill by string using name spaces and int main function uh, so this was the first program and uh, we have discussed those things so every c++ program has only one main function in c++ from main processor starts execution of a program the execution program will start inside the main function from the first code first line here we had only one line which was c out and the second was return zero which tells that there is nothing else just close it so uh, brackets this is used for uh, showing a start and end point of our function yeah and uh, this was the insertion operator which points the flow direction of data and semicolon that i didn't mention the semicolon ends the statement missing semicolon is a syntax error this is required you have to use it after every line of code so hash include tell the computer to put code from header file into program this is a preprocessor directive and iostream it is a header file that store hidden codes of cout statement name library definition file for all input output streams for example cout cm name specific is as namespace which contains cout in their license and int it's a return type which says return an integer value which we return zero main it's a function that control execution of program and each c++ program must contain main function yeah this is the main part which is which has the main name see out it's a statement that display takes on the screen and followed by an essential operator this which flow shows the flow direction of the uh, return zero when the result is displayed on the screen then this function will sorry this is another function the return zero will retain the result on the screen until you press a key from the keyboard uh, variable what's a variable when you want to say uh, for example someone tells you please add three and four first you're going to save this ad in your memory you say uh, three plus four these two numbers are saved inside your memory first then you're going to calculate it so we have to have a, a place for um, for saving the numbers or data anything so variable stores our programs data memory contains locations having numerical addresses of course our ram has uh, numerical addresses but here we use variables we use names which are used to control memory locations we give names to memory locations that are called variables uh, for example for example let me just write a program here and instead of welcome i i want to make another variable which for example here i am going to make a variable integer a is equals to 10 here 
integer means our variable is a uh, integer type and a equals to 10 means uh, uh, 10 is saved inside a we are going to put 10 into a location and we are going to just run it and uh, so it should be displayed instead of welcome I'm going to say that a should be um, displayed so now I'm going to compile and run this which is which has the shortcut key of f11 I didn't mention yeah see here we have 10 it means we have saved uh, 10 inside a location and we have printed that. so guys this was how our variable are restored so variable starts with character or underscore for example here I used character a you can also under use underscore but that's not recommended variable is the name of a location in the memory yeah, for example x equals to 2 means 2 is saved inside x x is a memory location inside your RAM in a program a variable has four things name which for example a type which type uh, integer size in memory uh, inside memory how much size does it take integer actually it takes 32 bit uh, 32 uh, bits which is uh, 2 power 32 minus 1 uh, if it was unsigned it means only positive uh, numbers are saved so it means from 0 to uh, 2 power 32 minus 1 but uh, if was it, if it was signed then it will save from minus 2 power 16 up to plus 2 power 16 minus 1 sorry positive so we use assignment operator which is equal to give a value to our variable x equals to 2 means assigning 2 to x variable math assignment is different from equal in C++ so assignment operator equals 2 x equals to 2 means 2 is inside x location so parts of assignment operator left hand side right hand side we have left hand side and right hand side. left hand side we should have the variable name uh, and uh, right hand side we can use variable and also numbers those things so in algebra it's okay but in programming language the uh, left hand side uh, cannot be an expression so it has to be a single variable compiler will not pass it Child is equals to x plus 4 this is right but x, x plus 4 equals to z this is wrong here x equals to x plus 1 it means x was mm, before it was 10 plus 1 it will become 11 and now x has the 11 value so data type uh, integer i this is a declaration line we are going to make a uh, we are going to reserve a location location i and we are going to say that this is the i'm going to save the integer type so now it will save uh, it will reserve a memory location and of four bytes which is 32 bits so every variable has a mm, data type for example we say integer x we say uh, char x char means character so integer stores whole numbers reserve words cannot be used as variable names just like uh, main and uh, f else these things they are reserve reserve words or keywords integer i reserves a place inside memory which i may have mentioned so guys this is another program uh, hash include i stream dot h hash include kanyo dot h i'm just going to write this uh, program inside the diff c plus plus inside the word diff so guys uh, so guys i have written those codes inside the uh, div c++ uh, just the same code uh, i'm just going to run it yeah this is uh, 10 oh sorry i didn't uh, compile this first i'm going to compile it there is no error now i'm going to run it it will show x equals to what y is equals to what 20 yes the x is equals to 10 y is equal to 20 and z is equals to 30. first we have mm, uh, declared three variables uh, then we give the idea in values and we have just this mm, 
I'm sorry. This. So guys, we are going to go through the next. So guys, this was our program, and uh, I'm going to explain it in the next lecture.